Hey gang, welcome back to Inverted Pursuits Laboratory. So this week we're actually going to get to what I discussed uh, in our previous video, the RRC3 flight controller, or uh, flight computer. So this is an altimeter, um, as well as a pyro computer for setting off the dual deploy charges in a high powered rocketry, one for the drogue and one for the main parachutes coming out of the rocket. So. This altimeter is the RRC3 Sport Altimeter. They also have an Extreme Altimeter, which uh, as of recording date of this video in November 2020, they are currently out of stock of. So I have the Sport mm -hmm. Altimeter because the only difference between them is this capacitor. The Extreme Altimeter has a capacitor that can handle higher altitudes, where this one cannot, but it's not being flown to high altitudes. I'm not even going over 5,000 feet with this rocket, so it's no problem. Now. The RRC3 comes with a really handy uh, field guide for getting quick started. It has all sorts of information in here um, saying it will fire the drogue um, and then at 500 feet it fires the main. So it fires the drogue at Apogee or if you don't have a drogue installed it just will do nothing. Um, and then fires your main at 500 feet. Um, and it's out of the box ready to do that so you can just plug it in attach it to pyro switches and launch it and it will deploy at apogee in 500 feet um, but this computer also comes with some additional features which i rather like so it has port options here so you can connect an lcd screen for adjusting your settings aside from using the button and dip switch uh, setup up here you can use an lcd screen to see exactly what you're looking at you also have a COM port and an AUX port. The AUX port um, isn't used for very much, but the COM port is used in parallel with the uh, MissileWorks RRC3 uh, data cable. And this data cable has a little computer on it itself that, trans, uh, that uh, translates the flight computer into USB uh, serial data. But that also that then allows you to plug your flight computer into computer and use the MissileWorks uh, MDAX system to adjust all of your flight settings rather than doing it just off the beeps from um, the computer. With that we're going to go ahead and plug this computer into the computer and I'm actually going to jump you guys inside my computer and you're going to get to watch my screen as I show you the MDAX system. So let's jump in there real quick. Alright, now that we have you guys inside my computer and you can see my screen here, this is the MDAC system that you can download for free from the MissileWorks website, which I really enjoy. So, when you're going to set up your computer, or set up your flight computer, one of the first things you do is you have to plug in the data cable and let the data cable itself connect. Wow, now the video finishes um, processing while I'm doing this. Uh, you'll then need to check your COM port, I'll clear active COM port so I can show you that. Mine is currently on COM7. Um, COM1, if you have a, a wireless mouse, is almost always your wireless mouse or any other thing you may have plugged in via USB on your computer. Um, just make sure you know what it is. If at first it doesn't work, try the other COM port. It's pretty easy trial and error when you only have two that pop up for me. Um, from this page, you can also set your altitude. Uh, units, uh, your velocity units, and all of your other random data. Some of these down here are for um, the RTX GPS manager, which I am not running here, but this is under your system's preference tabs. Then to connect your flight computer, you actually come over here to the RRC3 viewer. And so now what we do is we go ahead and click host connect, and then it's the same mad dash to plug everything in power on the flight computer listen to the annoying annoying tone um, and then we come in here and we do the setting reads again settings read successfully and we come over here and now we should when I hit auto loop monitor yep we see almost 9 volts on the battery um, we have the drogue and main show as no continuity we have 68 degree temperature which that is the temperature of my house currently um, and it isn't reading uh, pressure there is a way to get it to read pressure but I forgot to turn off the 
power from the data cable before, so it's not reading pressure right now in millibars. Um, I'm not going to fight it right now. So, But that is your basics right there. You come back over here to settings, and you've got your um, dual deploy. You've got audio options, pre-launch battery voltage, pre-launch deploy mode, pad audio, power saver, post-flight max velocity, post-flight timed apogee. Um, what do you want to see on audio or LCD? Uh, deploy mode, primary dual deploy mode, drogue at apogee, which is what we want. Backup dual deploy mode, drogue at apogee plus delay, and apogee only mode, which uh, is main at apogee plus one second but we want dual deploy mode for everything we're doing. You can also write setting files inside this software and save them over here and then load them and based on the rocket you're flying and its particular needs you can adjust each or uh, the flight computer between multiple rockets although it's not my primary recommendation but with that thanks for watching guys this is pretty much a basic overview of how this computer works. It's not very in-depth, but a lot of the in-depth comes, I mean, there's, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this pretty much sums up what the RRC3 is. It's a very simple and straightforward flight computer while giving you a lot of options to adjust your flight to your needs and your desires. I like the simplicity of it. It makes it really user-friendly for me right off the shelf only took me about two hours to figure out how all of this works and get comfortable enough to make this video for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, but please consider checking out my other videos I've made on the dual deploy electronics and dual deploy testing, as well as flight videos I've made on my personal home-built rocket, Viper. So, thanks for watching.